Today, I wanna to walk you through some classic negotiation scenes from movies, and I'm gonna break them down step by step. The first movie clip we're gonna go through is from a movie called Just Go With It, starring Adam Sandler. There's a classic negotiation scene between him and two little kids. I thought, I thought you'd be excited to have an acting job. If it's an acting job, we should get paid. Yeah, you're gonna get paid an experience. I wanna actually get paid. <laughs> All right, what do you want? $600 for the day, plus overtime if we go over eight hours. I'll do my own hair and makeup, and I want you to pay for the six-week intensive acting camp that my mom can't afford. Okay, first off, obviously, little girl comes off strong. Having demands is a way to start a negotiation, but what she's really doing, if we relate this back to, let's say, what I do, which is selling real estate, is she's bringing her three prices to the table. You have your list price, which is your ask, you have your best target price, which is where you think you're gonna get to, and then you have your walkaway price, which is, I'm not even doing this unless you hit this number. $50 for the day and a two week acting class at the YMCA nearest you. Adam Sandler is clearly not a master negotiator like I am because all he did is what most people do in a situation like that, is he just reacted to the demands of the person on the other side of the table instead of responded by mirroring. You say, got it. So that I'm hearing you correctly, what you're telling me is that in order to do this performance, you want this, this, and this? Are we on the same page? You want the other side to hear back what they just asked for. That way you don't find just common ground, you find common understanding, and you have a place in the negotiation to start moving from, instead of doing what Sandler does, which is just hit her with a counter right away. $500 and a four-week acting class. $300 and a three-week class. Done. I would have done it for 500. I would have done it for the experience. The other note that I just want to bring up here is when you counter too fast, that's just going to read as desperation, okay? The other side is going to know, wow, we have a lot more power than we thought. And in her mind, she would have done this for free, but she knows that she has the power over Sandler. And then little like human psychology note at the end here in this negotiation, it's great to let the other side know that you felt like you won, but you don't want to laugh in the other person's face. Now you got to go and actually do the deal. Part of the way we negotiate and the way that I negotiate using what I call the Kodo method is you are playing for the other side to win. That's how you're going to get the best deal for yourself. And that's how you're actually going to move the process forward. Okay, next up, we have a classic scene. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Classic scene, in part two, because people love acronyms, especially salespeople. A, B, C, always be closing. We have CODO, C-O-D-O. CODO is our negotiation method. It's what I've used since my early years as a real estate broker trying to close deals. It is a method, it is a strategy, it's a technique to enable you to sell more and make more money. Not gonna go exactly into what it is, it's all in the course, you should get it. Greatest closing course, negotiation course in the history of the world, mastering the Kodo method. Click the link below in the description, but you get the idea, let's keep watching. You see this watch? Yeah. That watch costs more than your car. I made $970,000 last year. How much you make? You see, pal, that's who I am, and you're nothing. First of all, Ed Harris with hair, right? Right? Classic. This guy, I don't give a shit. Good father, fuck you. Go home and play with your kids. You want to work here? Close. You think this is abuse? A-I-D-A. Get mad, you son of a bitches. Get mad. You know what it takes to sell real estate? It takes brass balls to sell real estate. I don't know what to say to that. A quick note. You cannot incentivize salespeople, right, by making them feel bad. It doesn't work. Make the other side feel good. Educate them on what they could do better. But use a positive sandwich. You're good, here's what you could do better. You're good, now let's go off. You don't motivate people through fear. Understanding their fear, okay, 
And leading forward from an empathetic point of view is how you push things forward. The world's in a different place. So what is ABC for 2023 and beyond? That's Kodo. One more scene from The Negotiator. Obviously, I gotta bring this movie to the table. It's Samuel L. Jackson. The movie's called The Negotiator. So there's one scene that's tough for me to relate to because it's obviously life or death, but I guess that's kind of funny. Okay, watch. I give you some advice. Never say no to a hostage taker. It's in the manual. Now, are, are you gonna tell me no again? No, I'm not. No, a wrong answer. Eliminate no from your vocabulary, Farley. Never use no, don't, won't, or can't. All right? So key point here, yes, there's guns, life and death. This is an intense hostage situation. But in the world of sales, in the closing and negotiating, there's a couple ways to think about how you ask questions. Something that we go through in the Kodo method is the funnel technique. How you start at the top, how you funnel your way down into specifics, and then how you finally get to the point of what the other side really, really wants. It's a process of asking questions in a strategic way that most people just don't do. One thing that we talk about is never ask a question that the other side can say no to always get yeses out of people. Now, at the top of the funnel, sometimes it's okay to ask a question that they'll say no to because you're trying to play a role of discovery. You wanna understand what they like, what they don't like. You need to get more information. How do you expect to negotiate against not having enough information? The negotiation is just gonna go out the window, left and right, because you're gonna have no idea what you're talking about. It eliminates options. The only option that leads is to shoot someone. Understand? Uh, yes. Yes, yes good. See, yes is good. You say no again, I'll kill somebody, all right? Now let's practice. Can I see a priest? I, I, let's not. You, you know what? Can we, can we just like talk about this? You wanted to right? talk. We are talking. Now can I see a priest? Say yes. Say yes. God. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Oh, that's good, Farley. Now you're learning. Now I'd like a submachine gun so I can blow everyone away. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. Good. You're doing good, Farley. You ever cheat on your wife, Farley? No. Watch yourself. I'll kill someone. You ever cheat um, on your wife? Yeah. Answer. I'll s see what I can do. <laughs> if you're trying to get somebody, even a little kid, to do what you want them to do, you want to ask them yes questions, either or questions. Don't say, A, can you meet me tomorrow? Because they could say, nope, hang up the phone. Say, how's tomorrow at 11 or would 4 p.m. be better? No, you can't really say no to that. You could say, I, I, I you know, you're gonna get them to think. You wanna keep people thinking in the negotiation. Don't say no, don't say won't, don't say can't. Every negotiation is supposed to be positive. Negotiations don't close if there isn't a win on the other side, which is why we play for the other side to win. I don't think I'd be that great at negotiating a hostage situation, but when it comes to deals, when it comes to real estate, when it comes to sales, there's a lot you can take away from these scenes that play right into how we negotiate deals every single day. Those are some of my favorite negotiation scenes from movies, old and kind of newer. Let me know what your favorite negotiation scenes are in the comments below. If there's one that you think I missed, we should do this again, because this is kind of fun, because I negotiate all day, every day, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do at the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you wanna master my way of closing and negotiating, if you wanna master the Kodo method for all sales, not just for real estate, click the link below in the description and get our newest Sell It Like Sirhant course, Mastering the Kodo Method, the Art of Closing and negotiation. Get it? I swear to you, you will make more money. It's why there's nearly 15,000 members of our Sell It Like Sir Hand programs in over 110 countries now. I hope you thought this was fun. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.